everyone uh, for being here for this um, session on internet cooperation in the Asia Pacific region. I'd like to um, thank, uh, th firstly, thank uh, Quek uh, from ICANN for catalyzing this meeting, but I want to stress that it's neither a, an ICANN meeting nor an APNIC meeting. Uh, it's a community meeting about um, community internet cooperation. So uh, I was uh, planning to sit on the side table there, uh, not to sit in the front table, but I was asked to sit up here and say a few words of opening. Um, I don't intend to uh, facilitate or take any charge at all, uh, but to uh, hand over shortly to, to Quack for some, uh, some thoughts um, and then to uh, also participate later uh, in uh, discussions um, about the uh, Montevideo statement and so forth, whatever, whatever um, happens to be on the agenda. Uh, what I'd like to suggest, it's a fairly small group, is that we could uh, have some uh, a quick round of, of introductions. So uh, starting uh, to my right and going anti-clockwise, we'll end up with uh, a quick for the last, uh, the last point. Thanks. Keith. Uh, Keith Davidson from Internet NZ, uh, the operator of .NZ, also on the ISOC board and vice chair of CCSA Council IT, and very interested in uh, and focused on the Pacific rather than the border Asia Pacific. But of course, always interested in the Asia Pacific, but um, my focus is more on the Pacific Island neighborhood uh, of New Zealand. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Govind from Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, Government of India. And I'm another hat of the CEO of National Internet Exchange of India, which deals with the .in registry, internet exchange points, and the NIR, which was recently done by India. And more things on the internet governance side. We are very actively participating in all the such meetings from India, Mobile Center ICANN signing ceremony, which held in, in Delhi on 17th October, where Kuwait was there. So with all the look forward to this meeting and participate actively in this. Thank you. Hi, uh, Rajesh Charia, President ISP Association of India, as well as I am the Director of the National Literature Exchange of India. Y.J. Park from Korea Internet Governors Alliance, in which uh, co-hosted the uh, Asia Pacific Regional ICM this time. Hi, um, Hey Won Lee from Korea Internet and Security Agency. Um, I newly joined the NR governance community and I'm pleased to learn a lot of things that's going on here. I was involved in the Seoul Cyber Conference um, specifically on the capacity building agenda. Hi, good morning. Uh, Ang Ping Huang from Singapore, the Nanyang Technological University. Uh, I direct a center in Singapore Internet Research Center and I'm involved in the internet governance uh, research space. Hi, I'm C. Kiet from Singapore Internet Exchange. Um, we, we run the National Exchange in Singapore and I wanted to just participate to find out more about the ICANN stuff that's going on. Thanks. My name is Pablo. I work for APNIC. I recently joined the Internet Governance Community 15 years ago and I'm still learning. <laughs> oh, how do I follow that? Uh, my name's Cheryl Langdonore. I'm from Australia. I'm a director of the uh, domain name .au um, administration and regulator. I'm a director of the Internet Society of Australia. I'm an inter uh, I'm a internet end user, obviously, but my own uh, small businesses are internet dependent and have for the last, oops, closer to 30 years, um, actually more than that now, um, have been involved with uh, aid-funded projects and procurement throughout the Asia-Pacific area. Other than that, I play a couple of roles in ICANN. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andy. I am from Bandi, Indonesia. <laughs> Indonesia.id registry. And I'm a chairman of the Bandi, and uh, I'm happy to join this meeting. I mean, uh, my interest thing is uh, about the global community joint collaboration. Hopefully, uh, this meeting can uh, make us uh, engage in others. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. 
My name is uh, Wahyu Prawoto. Call me Wahyu. I'm from uh, .id registry in Indonesia. Uh, I'm involved as a member of board of trustees. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Neil El Himam, and I'm one of the uh, board members of uh, trustees of uh, Pani. My name is Hong Xu, <coughs> law professor from Beijing Normal University, director of Institute for Internet Policy and Law. Hi, I'm Sanjaya. I'm services uh, and operations director of Repinic. Uh, just like Pablo, uh, not much <laughs> experience. This is my first IGF, by the way. I am Ellen Strickland, and my day job is with Internet Instead. I'm also Vice Chair of the Pacific Islands Chapter of the Internet Society and a researcher at University of Queensland. Good morning, everyone. Selamat pagi. My name is Rinaldi Abdurrahim. I'm from Malaysia. Uh, I am currently on the ICANN at Large Advisory Committee. I am also in the Executive Council of ISOC Malaysia Chapter, and I have my own consulting company in Malaysia. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Maureen Jalad. I'm the uh, board chair of the Pacific Islands Chapter of the Internet Society, and soon to be ALAC. Good morning, everyone. I'm Navid Haq. Uh, I am with the Internet Society. And my role is to support and develop and work with our chapters around Asia Pacific. Good morning. My name is Akinori Maimura. I am working for JPNIC, uh, Japan World Information Center. And uh, I've been involved in uh, APNIC's uh, Executive Council for 13 years. Long. Uh, my name is Hiro Hata from uh, the JP. CCTLD uh, for Japan and also from APTLD board. I'm Go Wu and uh, uh, actually I'm from the Taiwan. Is uh, working for the CEO of the IEPA. Is uh, doing the internet research and at the same time I was uh, I can board right now and I just uh, after the Buenos Aires I will be staff my second term on ICANN for another three years. Thank you. My name is Quek. I'm part of ICANN staff. I am starting up the Asia Pacific hub that is based in Singapore. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry to be late, but uh, Edmund Chung from Dot Asia um, also have been participating, I guess, at ICANN, at GNSO, CCNSO, and ELAC, can at large. Um, oh, and at for the at-large uh, as uh, ISOC, uh, Internet Society, Hong Kong. Uh, this is Yanis with Dow Asia as well, and also the Secretary for the APRI Jam. Sorry I'm late. Uh, gonna last spring, Australian IGF Ambassador. Thank you, everyone. I don't know if we've got a roaming mic, but there's a, a few at the back and at the edges very quickly. <laughs> That's right. I think that sitting back there will allow you to just read yes. the email. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tomohiro Fujisaki. I'm a vice chair of the ITO Japan chapter and also an ICANN ASLS member, and I, I'm working for Japan's Carrier NCT. Uh, uh, good morning. I'm Toshio Tachibana. Uh, from, I'm chair of the uh, Number Resources uh, Policy Development Forum in Japan. Also, I'm working for the uh, Green Inc. Silvia Cadena, Community Grants and Award Specialist at APNIC. I'm Carmen Valdez, I'm Executive Secretary for the Number Resources Organization. Hi, I'm Melissa Guzman, and I work for uh, ISOC as the Regional Coordinator for Asia Pacific. Hi, I'm Itsumi Okachani. Uh, I'm from JPNIC, a regional internet registry in Japan. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Jordan Carter. I'm the new Chief Executive at Internet NZ. Good morning, everyone. Patrick Quitt. Uh, 
board member of Picky Sock, Day Jobs with uh, the Pacific Sit. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, I suppose I should introduce uh, myself as um, Paul. I'm the head of APNIC. Uh, I've been uh, involved with the IGF since well before it started. Um, this is my seventh IGF. Uh, I'm on the MAG. I'm chairing the Asia Pacific Regional IGF's uh, multi stakeholder uh, steering group. I'm also uh, the chair of the NRO at the moment. Um, I'd like to just uh, give uh, thanks to uh, the hosts of this meeting as well. Uh, thanks very much for coming, uh, Andy, but uh, thank you also for the amazing job in, uh, in uh, hosting the meeting. Uh, back to quick. Sure. Well, th thank you everyone for an early morning. Um, I'm, I'm very mindful of time and I hope that this is worth the wait for you to um, be up and about so early. So maybe I can tell you a little bit more about the genesis of the meeting. I think um, from, from our very selfish perspective, I can, we are uh, around for a long time, but at the same time, I'm the new kid on the block. And I think at the Apricot meetings, Fadi came about and, and apologized that ICANN has not been involved in the region. Um, the good thing about that is that the region did not wait and, you know, it, regardless of whether ICANN was inward looking or outward looking, we have a grouping of people together with the leadership with Paul, Edmund and, and frankly, I, I shouldn't name names, every one of you, that there's already a strong basis to start from. And I think what we're trying to do is to get everyone together and have as many of these informal gatherings as possible um, in order to find a path forward where we can, where, where we can all find things are useful. Um, just so we know how we, we might want to manage our time this morning, um, I'm planning to come up with some slides that we've discussed with ISOC, APTLD, APNIC and us um, on how we think we might work together and, and, and it's not meant to be a club of, of four guys, it's, it's just that you know um, we, we, we got together one evening but, but really get, getting everyone together to make sure that we don't end up duplicating resources if Champika is out doing security training in Bangkok, we don't want to have the same week another training in Singapore by ICANN or something else. So, 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 so it really is about that. Um, what we're hoping to do after this is to be able to document what we are hoping to achieve. Um, and we don't think that the 30 people in this room um, will, will determine what we're going to do, set our blueprint for 2014. So we're going to put it up for, 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 for consultation, for views. Um, and I'm hoping that that, that that can be the basis to, to help us with some of the work moving forward. So, so, so if so some of you might, might be looking at this slide already, this really is a continuation of the fantastic meetings we had in Seoul for the APRIGF where we got feedback on the shortcomings of where ICANN is in the region. And I think this gives us an early indication of the focus points we can have for ICANN, but at the same time, we think many of these themes are relevant to all of us here. So, so, so if I jump quickly into the table, I think the first thing that we've seen is the need for language localization. Um, the, the, the region is, is very diverse. Um, ICANN does a terrible job at making um, um, information available in, 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 in different languages. I mean, you know, there's, uh, apart from the six UN official languages, uh, amongst us we probably represent a dozen languages at, at, at this table already. We want to see how we can work together, maybe a crowdsourcing model or, or, or some model where we can get information out in local language so we increase participation in the region in a meaningful way. Um, ICANN meetings or IGF meetings are all in English. You come in, if you don't have that grasp of the language, it might be hard to follow the conversation or even engage. Um, this is not something we can do overnight, but I think we should start thinking about how we can get incremental baby steps in, into that. The second thing I, I, I think is interesting to many of us as well, again, the region is very diverse. Um, some people will need more on capacity building. Some people are leaders to help others in the region on capacity building. But I think amongst all our organizations, we agree that this is something that, that, that we need to continue to work on to maybe have some form of leveling or to bring everybody up. The third thing we wanted to do was to do awareness building and communications. I think um, um, I, I, was in, I was in Delhi with 
Raj last week where we spoke at a, a Fiki event and Raj made a very interesting comment. He said that um, he had stopped appearing at some of the panels because it was the same people talking to the same people and we haven't been widening the conversation. So th th this, th this, I think, is, is also another thing that we can look at doing together. The, the, the fourth thing is the regional meetings, and I think this is a point that Paul feels very strongly about. We, the, the Asia-Pacific region has, has great meetings already. We have the APRICOT, we have the APRIGF, APNIC, APTLDs have meetings in the region, in the Pacific, you have PEC-INET. Um, let's make use of these platforms um, to to help harmonize calendars, we can also use this platform maybe to coalesce or, or galvanize some of Asia-Pacific views and have some way of, of bringing these views together in a consolidated way that feeds into the larger format. And examples of this could include the ICANN meetings, for example, where I think there is a sense that the Asia-Pacific region might be represented physically, but the nuances and our views might not be making it might, might, might not be surfacing up to in, in, in the process. So that's an example. Um, yesterday we, we had a, an, an interesting session on, on follow-up from the Montevideo statement as well as a coalition that we are building. We're hoping that this can allow us to have a format for the Asia-Pacific region to come up with views and Paul will lead us on that conversation later. Um, the last thing really is about increasing stakeholder participation. I think uh, for the APRIGF in Seoul, um, I've, I've, I've gone to APRIGF for the past three years. I think in Seoul, we had the highest level of government representation, and I think we want to get more people um, to listen to what the views are. This is an example. Um, um, what about the, 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 the local businesses? I mean, like, we have big brands in the region, like the Neighbors and the Downs and the NTT Docomos. Can, can, can we bring them in in the same way that, that, that some of the MNCs are, are very involved in the conversation? And, and users as well, user groups. So, so this just gives you a flavor of where we think might be some focus areas. Um, so, so we're trying to consolidate some of the major themes that we can work on that can guide us for, for our work. Maybe for the rest of the year, we're coming to the end of the year very quickly, but, but definitely for 2014. And if we put this up for comments, we hope that, that, that we get good feedback on that and, and, and that can, 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 can help us craft something. I think another thing is that, 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 that we try to do as a follow-up is to mesh, well, we call them horizontal and vertical themes. So, so based on the previous slide, on, on, on the horizontal level, there are, there are things and activities that we want to do and in the verticals are some of the thematic issues that we think that there might be a better way of representing this and, 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 and we're happy to hear if there are any other views. So for example, um, AP Nick might be leading the charge on IPv4 to IPv6. We might be interested in new GTLDs. Um, APTLD might be interested in security, but there are other issues. Maybe ISOC will, will, will want to add as a vertical stream um, freedom of expression, for example. And, and, and we wanted to put something out there to, 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 to map out the, the, the issues and activities that we want to do and so that there's some form of coordination amongst us as, we, as I mentioned just now. The other thing, so, so, so building on that concept, we are, we are hoping that we pick some um, key events in the future year where we can coalesce things around. So an example that of what we were thinking is that apricot meetings in, in February, for example, gives us a lot of time to plan. Uh, well, not a lot of time, but a but, but reasonable <laughs> amount of time to plan since it's February. And I think it, it's interesting because it's one month before the ICANN meetings in Singapore. It's around one and a half months before the, the, the Rio de Janeiro meetings. So is this a place, since people are, 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 are putting money into their budgets anyway to fly out to Bangkok, to use that as a gathering where we can, we can discuss things and have themes come together. So with APTLD, we are, we are starting this idea that, hey, maybe at the sidelines of APTLD, there can be a mini CCNSO meeting where the Asia Pacific views can come out. And because it's a smaller group setting, we are hoping that the language barriers might be easier to overcome. The nuances in what each country, in, in, in each what represents in what 
each representative is trying to express can come out a lot better and we can be as formal or as informal as, as we want to be. It can be very formal in the sense that we come up with a report, it gets handed out to the CCNSO chair to say that Asia Pacific region has met, this, these are some of the themes that appeared, or it can be as informal as saying that, hey, you know, um, um, Edmund, why, why, why don't you be our representative and, and say that we have met and run through these points at the main meeting. Completely open to format, completely open to feedback on that. And then that, that, that leads to a lot of I ideas. I mean, like with APNIC, maybe we can have a mini ASO meeting. The weekend in between, maybe you can have an ALEC meeting, a mini GNSO meeting. Just, just ideas we are, we're putting out there. Also, if, if the world is preparing for the Rio de Janeiro meetings in the first week of May, if we sit together and we just dedicate a, a session like this, where the Asia-Pacific region can come up with, with views. Y, YJ, for example, has, has good feedback on what civil society is feeling about the initiative. We, we, I, I think we want to avoid a situation where the, the world is moving ahead and, and, and the Asia-Pacific is just accepting what, 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 what the more vocal people are accepting. So we have a blank sheet out here for people to fill in the things that you want to do or, or, or things to raise to us. I think. Some I've met have been thinking of a, a, a summer institute. Um, maybe maybe we should take out the season since we're in this part of the world. But 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 a platform where you know we can have renewal in terms of succession in people who are familiar with the themes of internet governance and and, and, and the technical issues. So we're really leaving this open ended for for people to comment on. And uh, the next one is Paul's slide. We have 30 minutes for this. Um, maybe we can structure this to have maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes for discussion and then we can move on to talk about the Monte Video statement. So, so if there are any initial responses, um, we're, we're all ears and, 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 and this is not, not like, oh, four, four, four guys in, in the AP region have met together and say that this is what we're going to do. It, it really is about, you know, if, if, if you want to spread this to another mailing list because we, we didn't catch it, or 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 or, or you have you have things that you think that, that we have missed out. Um, we, we'd be happy to hear initial reactions. We'll curate what is being said today, put it up for discussion, and and, and hopefully that will inform us for the way forward. I'm I'm opening this up to the floor or anyone else. Thanks very much. Is, is there any? Hi, so this is Izumi uh, from uh, JPNIC, and I think this collaborative effort is great. And um, I have always been attending APNIC meetings as address um, registry, and I've recently started attending the ICANN meetings as well. And uh, after starting um, uh, attending ICANN, I realized that there are a number of issues that actually affect operational communities. So it's not just about the ASO, the IANA. But some of the um, issues that have been discussed related to the new GTLDs that would that might affect the operational communities, or some of the considerations about the specifications of who is, uh, that might be an interesting reference to the address communities. So I thought that it would be nice to pick up some of these issues that are common and overlap in interest in the uh, registry community. A lot of registry communities is in operators. Um, participating and then what's happening in ICANN, if we can identify the, these and then have an opportunity to share and at least inform the community about what's going on in the ICANN arena that which might affect those communities. Andy. Uh, let me explain a little bit. <coughs> Um, I think, uh, I think, uh, uh, as uh, Izumi, you are saying, uh, you have participated in the ICANN meeting recently. And I think for all the people who participated in ICANN for a long time, uh, you can recognize that that is uh, some of the, uh, let's say, is, uh, a shock point. Is, uh, uh, people always say the ICANN meeting is like a just domain name, nothing else. You know, and to be honest, uh, you know, I can in, during the war we also we wasting the, the the staff. We are uh, keep trying to to try to change the meeting format. You know, expand it from 
not not just the domain name. We also want to expand further to including, for example, the like let's say the ASO or the technical peoples. You know, because of all the time actually few and few, you know, the technical people really interesting to come into the IG meeting, and that is the one thing we are continue going to enhance. And so I think uh, if you uh, if the people participate for the coordination meeting now. Uh, Yesterday, uh, this is part of the whole, you know, the I can involvement. You know, I try to include, in, you know, involve more people in the technical and into the I can meeting. I think this is uh, from I can meeting as a, as a, as a, you know, the, the development. <coughs> and and regarding for another thing is uh, um, when the I can have a hub. Singapore office is not a branch office, it's a hub. That means it's an equal position as uh, Los Angeles or Istanbul. So don't think about it. Singapore is just a, a, a local local or regional office. That's totally wrong. It's, uh, basically, I can eventually will be have a three hub. It's uh, Singapore, Istanbul, and also Los Angeles. And the reason try to do that is uh, uh, as you know, for a long time, the people criticize uh, I can uh, Americanize, and one of the way to you know not to be Americanized is uh, try to you know not focus a uh, headquarter in the Los Angeles and spread to the three region, uh, three hub, and so this is uh, one of the activities. And once the hub in Singapore, what's that mean? This mean is uh, eventually. I can should be more uh, uh, put more resources for the people and also participate and to engage the local you know community and local community of course uh, from the meeting point of view we can say you know every year we have uh, two happy nigger meeting one is a happy nigger annual meeting and all months ago we say happy cut and also you know the happy Every card was always, uh, you know, maybe Nick. And we are thinking about it. We should not create our own meeting. You know, that's the wrong way. It's much better to fit in there. But yeah, if, if, if you look at the ICANN structure, you know, we are talking about ICANN structure. Is talking about the IP domain name and then the server. And in the domain name, it's basically it's the CCTOD, GTOD stuff. And since we have an APTOD meeting. CCTLD people already there, and if we're talking about IP, IP NIC is already to cover everything. What is missing in the local, local in Asia Pacific region is actually is not many space for the GTLD or registrar that I can structure is uh, participating in that group. So hopefully, I think uh, if the if the I can can you know work with the uh, IP NIC work with the APTOD, work with the uh, APIGF, work with uh, you know, the, the low, uh, regional uh, group, then hopefully we can bring more people into this uh, structure and then we, we can harmonize and from the regional and they all go to the IG meeting and there will be put the, uh, as a community, as a, as a single space. So I think this is uh, a general view from the ICANN uh, point of view. We, we, we do this what we are trying to do. So this uh, I think I talked to the quack many, many times <laughs> regarding for a strategy, something like that. And that is a part of the uh, uh, what we're thinking about. And in here is a very important thing is um, we wish we can come out with a solid strategy. And as you know we have a Singapore meeting next year in the ICAN meeting in Singapore. And we try to, you know, uh, they are with the uh, Asia Pacific strategy for all, for all of you, and then of course uh, your your voice or your opinion should in there. <laughs> you know that is uh, the purpose of the the the, 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 what's the meeting and what we are going to do. Thank you. Eddie. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm interesting in this uh, vertical and horizontal theme, so uh, directly. Uh, it is important also for us to increase our our DNS uh, response in the region. So, um, 
want to propose to in the in the you know the vertical to uh, say uh, we can uh, increase by swapping our DNS. Say uh, you can put your DNS in ours and we can uh, put our DNS in in the others. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I'd like to say thank you to Quick for trying to put structure to all the thoughts that have been given to you because that helps us see what the gaps are and what the ideas are. And I think that you're going in the right direction. What I would like us to avoid is reinforcing silos. Um, if I use ICANN as one example, the silos already exist there, but in the region, I would like the community, the different groups, to come together on an issues or theme based so that the conversation is broader, that goes beyond the stakeholder groups or the registrars, just the registrars or registry, so that it generates a comprehensive understanding of the issue and its impact on users or on various parties, including governments. And at the same time, when you're having this thematic discussion, the individual groups can also have their own meetings. And then we have the struggle of figuring out the schedules, etc. but that's on the logistical side. But focus on the theme that brings people together in the region. Thanks. Thank you. I, I uh, agree with your, your point um, very much, Renalia. Uh, I think, um, and I also agree that this is a really nice uh, analysis of the of the deal here, um, the two the two dimensions and the opportunity to add more in both dimensions. Uh, if you take all of the intersections, there's a lot of different things going on, and I think you could identify organizations and activities, current and future activities, in every one of the boxes <laughs> in all of those intersections. And I think that's that's fantastic. What it does mean is potentially a lot of silos and a lot of, a lot of fragmentation. And although it's, I think it's also excellent to identify all of the different opportunities where people come together, there's also, in my experience, the, uh, the question of the sort of critical mass um, which will attract particularly people from outside of the silos um, and will also allow the cross-fertilization that, uh, that can, we all know, can, can exist. And, um, so uh, I think, as uh, Quaik mentioned before, I do have some, some thoughts on this, which is that I think we could um, make use of a critical mass and, and uh, create more opportunities by actually converging uh, in, in one place, for instance, in each year. And um, under, one, under one banner, uh, under, under a collective banner, I suppose, uh, bring together ICANN, the ICANN community, with the other communities that exist, and there, there are quite a few. Um, we already have, for instance, under the Apricot banner, we have um, we have APNIC, we have APTLD, we have APIX, we have something called AP Star, which is the AP Everything uh, that, that meets for a retreat uh, retreat meeting yeah, for a day each each time. Apricot tends to be a, a technical community, though, so you might see that as as a fairly siloed um, process, and it's. Uh, it is technical and it's a fairly packed agenda. The um, the APNIC meeting, which we have, the second one each year is uh, is generally early September, and it also attracts actually APTLD and APSR and uh, and and others. Um, I would be very happy to um, to see that or to offer that as a as a sort of platform uh, if it's of interest under a under a common banner or some kind of a, a summit style get together where we could. Uh, where we could come together if we were organised and we could plan in advance, uh, have a process for selecting where that would be uh, in the future and, and open up a, a, an inclusive process to make those determinations. Uh, but I think I have one particular example with, with ICANN where I think the critical mass is, is very important. That's, that's in the ICANN uh, gag. And I have not seen, a, seen an opportunity uh, a case in the Asia Pacific where the Asia Pacific GAC members have yet come together to really hear about and to learn about and to contribute to what's happening happening in the region. That would be, in my mind, that would be a, an indication of success if we could gather together with, a, with enough critical mass to bring the Asia Pacific GAC comprehensively into a meeting where they could do ICANN specifically, but where they could learn a lot more about what's happening across the community. And I, I only focus on that because it's a particular uh, in a particular thing of mine, but I think it's only one of a number of uh, advantages that can come out of uh, coming together in a more uh, regular summit style event. For example. That's the idea. Ed? Yeah, I think I'm going to
Yeah. Um, very short. Um, so just picking on, on, on what Paul's mentioned, and especially on the GAC, and I think what you mentioned about the MNCs, and, you know, big big companies in, in the region, um, I think no, uh, the, the, the CCNSO or, or, or ASO, you know, more the technical community, is relatively more engaged at this point. Um, and th there needs to be some strategy to reach out to, to the businesses and also civil society. When I, I'm going to talk about that, because is that is, you know, if you look at the IPC or, or the BC, for example, uh, the intellectual property constituency and the business constituency, for example, there, there's, you know, almost next to nobody from 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 the region. You know, look at ASO, there is there are people from the region. Look at CCNSO, there is. Um, not to say that to to alienate them, you know, we could still build it, but there are certain pockets, including the GAC, where where there is a, a maybe a bigger uh, um, need to to out as well um, so I guess that's you know, that that's the thing and the, the other also the civil society part I saw chapters are, are well engaged but that's relative again relatively more technical uh, we're talking about you know like uh, or uh, like uh, things like uh, access accessibility for disabilities or you know child online safety you know those those type of NGOs are not not engaged so much in in Asia Pacific uh, so that's just my Thank you, Greg. And I first of all, I'd like to thank Greg and the Paul for the bringing the people around the table here in the Asia Pacific region for the internet cooperation and other engagements. A couple of things which I would like to say here that the ICANN and the IGF and the, their engagement in the Asia Pacific region, it's a nice initiative which is coming up now. And uh, as Mr. Paul said, in the CAC mechanism which is there in the ICANN, so the, there are very less voices from the Asia Pacific region in the GAC. So we have to see the, what are the issues there, how we bring it together, people around the table, to really appreciate the policy issues sometime in the new GTLD issues, what are the things which is affecting more in the Asia Pacific region, which is the most diverse region, I think, among all the continents of the ICANN, from the language perspective, and as the next billion internet going to be in this region, and even the next billion also. So access and the diversity are the major issues in this part of the region. And there is a lot of opportunities I see and challenges to work in this region because India is a big country with the 22 official languages. It's a bit a challenge and to work in the capacity building and the in all sorts of engagements with the people, the civil society and the business community and the governments. So we see a big opportunity to enlarge the scope as Mr. Quack has brought out the agenda here in the, in the new GTLDs and the IPv6 and the technical engagements, I think that there are challenges of two kinds. One is the technical understanding of the whole issues and then the policy matters. How to bring the policy as ICANN is bringing the AOC, affirmation of commitments and the you know critical resources and how the global internet governance is moving as the next year is going to be very important from the business point of view and the next year. So all these issues are going to take shape very, very challenging and then the coupled with the, uh, you know, APNIC meeting in Bangkok and then the ICANN meeting in Singapore, I think is a nice opportunity for the month's gap where in the, in the Bangkok meeting we can schedule a lot of issues, a lot of policy meetings among the Asia Pacific people so that they can articulate well in the I can meeting in Singapore and engage well with the community and in the Asia Pacific region and see how we can move forward and become more visible and more uh, you know important in this part of the world. Thank you very much. Yeah, keep my attention short. Uh, I like what I see. Uh, maybe it's, it's, I had a good breakfast, maybe. Um, but the slides are good and, it, and uh, I think they press uh, the right button. Capacity building is really, really critical, I think, in Asia. I think we're sensitive. And I think the other point that you put up also uh, are very good. And for what it's worth, uh, I'm looking at setting up some kind of um, summer trading program in, in um, internet governance. We're still thinking of the name. It may not be summer because in Singapore it's summer all the time. You know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yes, the concept of summer in Singapore. Thank you. I like that one. Uh, Cheryl Langdonell from Australia. Um, I've had a bunch of notes here and I'm not going to go through them, but some of the key points are, and first of all, I'm always willing to work smarter, not harder. 
and, and so this cooperative approach ticks that box and, and I'm very happy along those lines. Uh, I do think what we need to do is ensure good and effective outputs that are meaningful beyond our own marketplace here. So when we gather together, we have to go out of those meetings with tangible outcomes which are in local language product. I don't care whether they're digital or paper, I would obviously prefer digital, but it gives us something to then go and engage with other parts of community because our diversity is an also problem, it is our strength in this region. And so outreach and bring in business, bring in other government, including uh, local and, uh, and sub-regional. Um, I do think we need to make sure if we're going to get this right, that from the very beginning, we don't just think of our comfort zone of meetings. Uh, it would appear to me from a budgetary perspective that if we have a gathering of a number of governments uh, for another purpose, perhaps we should be trying to tack on to some of their existing meetings rather than encourage them with their in often limited budgets. The success of Singapore and the government, uh, sorry, the success of Seoul and the government involvement in the APRIGF was very much tied to assistance to get there and we can't play that game on a region this large. So I think we need to also go to some other spaces um, so outreach is absolutely essential. If we're going to do proper outreach, we need a value proposition. And I'd be very keen to see how that develops. And the other thing is a practical point. You invited us to put things into the, into the matrix. Where, how, have we even thrown our business cards into a fishbowl so we know who this group is? Um, obviously, I support Edmund's comments about civil society and involvement of people with disabilities. Uh, um, looking at the uh, vertical and horizontal, uh, well, we're starting to call them silos. Um, certainly, with civil society, um, the, the wide diversity of end users, there's a number of, of vertical themes there language localization, um, obviously, internet governance, security, new GTLDs. Uh, IDM that, uh, that affects the end user community, civil society. So um, going across there and considering how civil society can be involved in all of those areas would be very beneficial. I'm just wondering, APNIC sponsors ISIF, and, and we saw yesterday some very exciting projects that have been uh, funded uh, that way. Maybe there could be some of those um, uh, recipients um, who would uh, be interested in engaging further in these processes and maybe there could be some formal way of um, encouraging them, maybe uh, reaching out to them and, and providing some fellowships for those who might be interested in future. Okay, um, and while I just now mentioned the, the idea of capacity building, and Cheryl mentioned we put it into matrix. I agree with them both. Uh, I, I assume it's quite important to have a kind of stock taking of the capacity building program that is existing and available in this region right now. As Craig said, we want to avoid duplication and repetition to enhance efficiency and then reduce resources. Yes, I fully agree. Uh, apart from the APNG and the youth camp and the regional IGF, uh, they, they have been another uh, uh, Passive Union Projects is called Asia Pacific Internet Leadership Projects. It was held for the first time in Beijing in 2011. Uh, it was a great gathering. It was a training offered to uh, the Chinese young people and the internet governance issue. You know, the Chinese young people uh, do not have much opportunity to be exposed to the internet governance uh, arena. It was very good gathering and it's very much a regional collaboration. Uh, uh, well, Paul kindly sent his training manager, Chapika, to Beijing uh, to give a lecture, very good, on internet infrastructure. And I can send Kuwait and the video <laughs> to introduce the new GTLD program. And we see Edmund and Yilei, uh, they uh, gave very good discussion and presentation to these young people. And there's a group of volunteer professors, we all pay on our own pocket to provide a free training for these people. There's uh, our Singapore professor, Peng Hua, Japanese professor, Izumi Aizu, Indian professor, Vivekananda, and Han Hong, uh, local, 
uh, we had hoped to continue this project, uh, but, but unfortunately we're poor academics, <laughs> we don't have resources, especially we don't have resources to bring the students uh, to this training program. We had planned to have a second one in India, but because of the, uh, the other issue, it, it didn't work out. It's unfortunate. Everybody said it's a great idea. This is exactly as Penghua said, it could be a summer school. It was so successful in Europe, but we can't use the name. The summer school, to my knowledge, is being trademarked. Uh, that, that they have the exclusive right, so <laughs> we may think about the other names, but what I mean, we, we may wish to continue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hong. Thanks very much. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we are really nearly hitting the, the time for the next meeting. We do have to we do have to clear out. I had some things I wanted to very quickly touch on with the Montevideo Hideo statement. The statement came from a meeting of that happens regularly between a number of internet technical organisations. Those organisations reached an agreement about the need for action at this particular time. And we reached an agreement on certain points which were included in the, in the statement. And that's as far as that agreement went, except for a very clear sense at the, time, at the time of the urgent need or the immediate need to widen that, that initiative out. So the, the us at the meeting became a, a much wider us. It didn't become us consulting with others. It became an us that grows and that would be bro broader and much more inclusive than the group that at the meeting. We decided to do that before refining or progressing forward with that statement. We could have refined and progressed forward and put forward plans, but we decided to broaden first and, and to be inclusive about, the, about how those plans are, are being formulated. I wanted to really stress that, that it is an open and inclusive thing that is not led by or owned by the people who happen to initiate it with an agreement among themselves. So I just encourage everyone here to um, to bear that in mind. Please, when you do hear, <coughs> excuse me, hear about the, uh, the coalition, which is the broader us, then please um, do take a look at that and consider. Uh, and I would encourage you to join us. Thanks very much. Thank you, Paul. So as follow up to this meeting, we'll be curating what is discussed. We'll send it out on the mailing list. We'll try to do this before next Wednesday. And I think because we're fast approaching November and the year ahead, um, if we'll set a deadline for maybe three weeks from now for feedback. Of course, past the deadline, it's not closed, but we will want to have something to guide us. And for all those of us who are actually making out to Buenos Aires, <laughs> making it all the way to Buenos Aires, we'll have an informal discussion there, but it's not limited to that. And on both counts, we will be able to have something to chart us for 2014. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, a logistical item. If we are not directly connected to you already, uh, please